What's going on guys? And in today's video, we have a special guest by the name of Johnny Bradley. Some of you probably uh, know him already. He is a big into Amazon and has a big YouTube channel with about 10,000 subscribers. So I wanted to bring him on today, talk about his journey, about transitioning from a nine to five job into his Amazon business, and then also the process of him building his personal brand. So yeah, if you don't know about Johnny, I'm gonna, he's gonna uh, introduce himself here and let you know a bit more about himself. What's up everybody? Thank <laughs> you, Jack, for having me on the channel. I massively appreciate that. Um, I think the first thing I wanna do is just like invite any questions and things like that. So if people have questions, I'll kind of, I'll ping around in the comments section yeah. um, over the next few days and stuff like that. Uh, and in your Facebook group. Um, but yeah, so I, like, I started my personal brand uh, like a year ago, not even a year ago, 11 months ago, nearly to this day, 11 months ago. Uh, and it's been a complete like whirlwind since then, which I'm sure we're going to discuss in a bit more detail. Oh, yeah. uh, but previous, previously to that, I was kind of a nine to five like workhorse. I was working in sales. I did sales training. I worked for Apple for a long time. Um, and I was always like getting promotions and stuff like that and like working really, really hard to get another like a thousand pounds a year. And I was like, oh yeah, I got a, like a 3% raise. <laughs> uh, and I just, I just look back at that now and I was like, man, what were you doing? Like, why were you working that hard for literally nothing in return? Uh, and like hindsight is twenty twenty, right? So <laughs> I just want to try and help as many people have that realization before I did. Like not have to work like I did for years and years and years. Yeah thinking that that was the only way that you could generate income. The only way you can generate income is by working for someone else. It's just not true. Uh, so that's that's basically a bit about me. Uh, I had that aha moment, yeah, literally this time last year, and it's just, my, yeah, my life's been completely different since. Yeah, so obviously, what was your transition from, you know, that job into your Amazon business? What was the thing that kick-started that? And then what was the thing that kick-started, like, the start of your personal brand as well? Cool, 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 good question. So um, I've always been into entrepreneurship. I've always tried to make money. Uh, I've always kind of made a little bit of money, but never enough to quit a job. Um, and that was the real big thing that was holding me back. Uh, I wanted to create a passive income stream because I was working a lot. Like I was doing recruitment at the time. I moved to London from Norwich, so it's a fair distance away. Yeah. I moved so I can get basically uh, more money, right? I was working super long hours, leaving my house at 7 a.m., getting back at like half eight, nine o'clock at night, so that's a long time to be out of the house, and that's a long time that you're working for someone else or commuting. Yeah. So that was the big thing that really made me annoyed. I was like, my whole life is spent doing something that I don't want to do. Um, so I went on holiday for a couple of weeks, and this is, I think this is really important for guys, uh, guys and girls to understand, is that you need to basically have time to reflect sometimes, because you get caught up in like doing the daily activities every single day, so I keep still. You get caught up doing the same things, and you forget, like, before long, like a year's gone past, two years, five years has gone past, and you're like, what the hell have I done for the past five years? Yeah. Like, pretty much nothing. So I had that realization, I was on holiday, and I was just kind of sitting down, and a lot of people that watch this channel will probably be the same way. You can't just think about nothing for like a week, you have to keep your, your mind active. And uh, I did that. I got back and I was like, right, I'm going to get into Amazon FBA because I, I've seen this business model uh, like quite a few months. I actually saw it way back in like January 2016, but I never did anything about it. Like yeah. I researched it heavily, but never jumped in. Yeah. Man, I wish I did. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I did back then. I didn't know. And uh, I decided like, right, I'm going to do it. I purchased um, an online course. And since then, I've purchased many, many, many courses. But that was the hardest one, right? That was the hardest one because it was putting money down on my education that I never really spent that much. I went to uni, but it's like, it's a little bit different. Uh, yeah. I bought books and stuff, but I never put like a, you know, a few hundred pounds down on, on like an online or digital product. So that was a big thing that was holding me back. So I got back from holiday, literally the day I got back, I was like, right, I'm doing it. I'm like, I'm investing in myself. Uh, and on the same day, I, I, I've always wanted to start up a YouTube channel. And I thought, oh, this is a perfect, like this is the perfect combination. I've always wanted to do that. I've always wanted to do this. Let's combine them. Yeah. I did that and started getting a lot of interest online because I was doing something that was a little bit different to other people. And uh, loads of people were asking me questions about like different scenarios, different situations regarding Amazon in the UK. And that's where my personal brand started to kick off. Um, you know, I didn't have a big personal brand, but everyone was super engaged to the point now where, like I said, I've just gone over the 10,000 subscriber mark, which is still a small channel, guys. That's yeah. <laughs> In the grand scheme of things, it's a small channel, but 
When you're in the entrepreneur niche, when you're teaching other people how to make money, you don't, you just do not need a big following. You really do not need a big no. following. Um, whereas a vlogger, you need like hundreds of thousands of people to watch you to ever make any money from it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the turning, the turning point was investing in myself, like actually putting my money where my mouth is. Yeah. I'm not sure if you can. Um, yeah, the first thing was putting my money where my mouth is, and the second thing was documenting it and starting a personal brand. Those were the two most influential kind of points over the whole last kind of few years that have led me to the point now where it's just like, life is good. So obviously you talked about working in your job for years and years and years, probably knew in yourself that there was actually something more out there. What was like holding you back and like what advice yeah. would you give someone that's it's, maybe in the same position, wanting to start their own business, wanting to start a personal brand? Yeah, so this, this is something that is important for everyone. Everyone has the same limiting beliefs. Right? Yeah. Everyone's the same. I'm the same. You're the same. I still have them now, right? Yeah. So they don't go away. It's just they become they become, become lesser. Or your your other beliefs, right? Your unlimiting beliefs. What the hell would you call it? I don't really yeah. know. Uh, they become stronger. Okay. <laughs> so the big ones were like I don't have time, right? I I really I had very little time. Like let's be honest. I was like what I don't want to be working on a business at like 5 a.m. in the morning and they go to work for like 14 hours. I don't want to do that. I don't want to, when I get home, I want to eat food and I want to go to bed. Rest, like, yeah. like I, I did not have time. And even at the weekends, the job I was doing, I had to work a week. Like it was, it was horrible. So when people say to me, I don't have time, I'm like, like really? Do you not have time? Or do you not want to make time? So I made time. And that was one big thing that was really, really, really holding me back for a long, long time, for months and months and months. Um, but the biggest one, and by far the one that I, I, I think everyone will be able to appreciate and align with, is uh, the fear of failure, right? Thinking like, well, if I do this, what if it fails? Mm. What, if I, what if I put my personal brand out there and no one watches me? What if I do this and this doesn't happen? Uh, I still have those, that fear of failure to this day. Like before I, before I create a YouTube video, I'm, I'm thinking, oh, does anyone, is anyone going to watch it? Is anyone going to like it? Is people going to dislike it? Like, blah, 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 blah. is this going to happen? Is that going to happen? Like, I'm going to release a new Amazon product soon. Are people going to buy it? Is it going to be a flop? Like, am I going to make any money from it? Like, it, it, it's, it happens, and it happens for everyone forever, right? It just happens. So the big thing is you have to get over it. You just have to be like, right, well, even if it fails, what, have I, what would I gain? I'd gain experience. I'd gain knowledge. I'd gain connections. Like, I might gain income, even if yeah. it does fail. So... There's so many things you can gain from a failure that it doesn't become a failure at that point anymore. So as long as you approach any situation where I'm doing it to experience, I'm doing it to gain knowledge, I'm doing it to build a business, I'm doing it to better my life, then any failure that you have is always going to be a positive. Um, so that is that is the big one, and it is definitely the hardest to get over, is actually making that first commitment. And if you're starting a personal brand, it's, you know, it's actually starting your personal brand. So a lot of people ask me, like, how do you record your, record your first video? Well, what you do is do you it. get your phone, you go to your camera, and you click record, and you start talking that's, to it. That's the thing. Like, everyone can do it. They've got everyone's got a phone. Like you don't everyone's, yeah. concentrate on like the value you're providing, not like the production value. Like if you look, you're if you look at my first video, it is rubbish. You're just on your phone, <laughs> I think, in your front room, aren't you? Sort of thing. Yeah, I'm holding it and I'm like shaking it like that. Like yeah. you can't see it properly. Um, but the point is, I did it right. And yeah. uh, if if you can get over that initial fear, like that 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 fear of starting, that fear of failure, then you can get over anything, right? Because just be aware, guys, it's going to happen again and again and again every single day, especially when you're an entrepreneur and you're self-employed. Yeah. You're the only person that is control of, in control of your income. That's a scary thought. However, that, that thought is only in your mind for just a tiny amount of the day. The rest of you are like working on how you're going to you know, be even better, yeah. how you're going to you know, create a you know, bigger personal brand, how you're going to do whatever you want to do. Um, and the, the rewards far outweigh the risks and the like... Is it, like it's, it's so much better <laughs> to have this life than not. I'm just, I'm just saying it is. This is this uh, and that's not in a boastful way. It's just it's worth it's worth it's worth the hard work. It's yeah. worth like having. I had like four or five hours sleep for two months while I started my YouTube channel. So every single day, I was like, I said I had no time. I literally had no time in the day. I just got up earlier and I went to bed later. Yeah. And I had four or five hours sleep consistently every day for two months. I was shattered. Like I was really in a bad way. I wasn't very healthy. But I quit my job after literally two two months of starting. 
Uh, and look where you are now. Like you wouldn't yeah. have been here where you are now if you didn't just get started. It's well, like I, it's impossible. 100%, I would still be working some crappy job. And, yeah, and, you're, make, and you're making uh, what you in a month what you did in the whole year now before in your job, <laughs> which is just a, like, I'm sure you can't it's, get over that. It's, 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 it's mental. In, in the first three months of this year, I've earned more than I did in the past three years of working. You like, what was I doing? <laughs> I've, uh, yeah, so and that's all, that's all down to that first initial moment of saying I am going to start. I'm going to do something for better or for worse. Yeah. If people like hate me for starting a YouTube channel, if my Amazon products fail, then the, the important thing is you're starting. And what happens when you start is you start to work out the problems that you're going to face, yeah. rather than at the beginning you think, oh, this is going to be a problem and this will be a challenge. When you're actually doing it, you have to work out how to overcome them because it's a hurdle rather than a roadblock. It's like, it's like yeah. you've got to get over it. Um, and that's one of the big things about entrepreneurship and just generally starting up businesses. It's not easy. Like three out of four businesses fail. So the people that, that actually are successes is they focus on the right things. They focus on progression. They focus on like self-educating themselves. They focus on how they can be a better business and generate more income so that they can have more liquidity, more cash flow, um, and they can continue to go forward. So yeah, there's, yeah, but the main thing is you just you just have to start. There's right? a, there's only upside. There's only upside. Okay. I think there's only upside. There's no downside to starting this, like the whole personal branding thing or a business. There's no, only no, upside. No, and like you said, like some of the things that you said is to me is why you uploaded every single day is because if I don't upload that day, then that's another chance I've missed mm -hmm. either not to go viral and get loads of views and new subscribers on my channel or to get more sales or, you know, there's so much mm -hmm. upside just to uploading a video. You really don't know what's going to happen on yeah, the back let's end. Let's talk about a great example of that, right? So if you look at both of our, our Instagram pages, like they're both going viral at the moment, right? Yeah. What if we never ever started our Instagram pages? Yeah. Right? That means that yeah. you know, in a year's time, they could be massive pages and they could be huge income generations for us by generators. If you never did it, then yeah. you never have the opportunity to ever, ever do it. So like, like I said, if you're thinking about uploading just one video a week or creating a Facebook page, think about the, the opportunity cost, right? What are you costing yourself if you don't do it? Yeah. Like, and put yourself five years in the future. Put yourself on your deathbed, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> put yourself on your deathbed and literally try and picture yourself there like you're about to die, like everything's crap. Like you're about to say, you know, you're about to die, right? What do you wish you would have done, right? If you could talk, if you could go back and talk to yourself at this point right now, what you, would you have you said to yourself? And it probably would be just do it, you like bloody idiot, <laughs> yeah. just bloody do it. Don't right? live life with a re regret, effectively. Yeah. It's, exactly. Just, yeah. Just so you don't you don't want to get to the end of your life and realise that you should have done things that that you were scared to do. Because I'm sure a lot of you guys are watching, maybe you don't have a personal brand, maybe you do, but you've, you've seen people like Johnny, you've seen other people with personal brands like be able to create, go out there and create the lives that they want to create and the income that's just unheard of effectively. So there's, that's why you need to go out there and just get it. And it, yeah, and if it, even if it takes five years, if it takes 10 years, yeah. it, it will still be worth it. Like, it will still exactly. be worth it. At like, the end of the day, if I was working for the next 10 years, I, I wouldn't be on the income level that I'm on right now. No. It, just, it just wouldn't happen. Um, no. So it would be worth working five years on my personal brand to get to that point. To get to where you are right now. which is Exactly. Like, I would happily like, work five, yeah, if it took me five years to get to the point now, so if all my income went away today, I would work my arse off for five years to get it back to where it is today. It's worth it. It's 100% it's awesome. yeah. worth it. Because you won't be able to replace the income that you're currently making in a job. Right. I couldn't. You, I, couldn't do it. I, don't have the, I don't have the skills. No, Even if you were like a managing skills. director of a big business, you wouldn't yeah. make, be able to make the same as you are in the comfort of your own home. You can just wake yeah. up. No, and you'd be more video. stressed. You'd have less like uh, <laughs> life, like uh, work life balance. Like you have to be a business. If you want to make a lot of money, you have to be a business owner. Yeah. Like or get lucky. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Not very much. So yeah, Johnny. If um, people want to, who are watching this right now, if they want to obviously follow your journey, um, all that sort of stuff, and learn about Amazon, learn more about personal branding, what we'll do is obviously drop a link down to you below, but is there anything else that you want to finish on and finish off with and let people know? Maybe a bit more yeah. about um, I just want to give people encouragement that, uh, you know, when I put myself in the position of watching people on YouTube that are in this niche, I, I, I watch them because I want to do what they're doing. Yeah. Um, and 
a lot of the time you hold yourself back because you don't feel that you can do it. So I want to give people the encouragement to say, look, just do something today, like even if it's something small, like starting your YouTube channel, starting your Facebook group, or you know, doing research into a certain business model, or buying a book, or buying a course, or you know, getting on a coaching call with someone. Just do something today that your future self is going to thank you for, um, because you're going to look back at this and you're going to yeah. you're going to think, oh man, I, I wish I would have got started. Like probably you know, like myself, probably yeah. like you, Jack. You wish you would have started this. I wish like, I started way earlier. Like way way earlier. It's, it's, that's my biggest regret is I didn't start this earlier, right? No. It's like in, in uh, the Wolf of Wall Street when he's like. Um, the only thing you're going to regret is not buying more. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's literally, it's literally like that. Um, so yeah, if you want to go, if you want to like follow what I'm doing, you can, you can literally go back on my YouTube channel to the very first day I uploaded. It's like super cringy. It's awful. I'm like, uh, <laughs> but you can watch it uh, to this very point today. So you'll be able to see the progression of like how far, like even like the production quality has gone and then, like the confidence has gone. So um, if you want to see someone go from from have no idea about personal branding to somewhere where I'd say I'm quite knowledgeable now yeah. um, then you can go and check me out and obviously there's the Amazon like information I do like affiliate marketing information and a whole bunch of other stuff um, but yeah I, I think the main thing is if you have any questions just leave them down on, on the comments on this video and yeah. I'll just kind of ask I'll answer any I'm also in uh, Jack's Facebook group so um, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be in there as well but yeah thanks very much for coming on today Johnny and I look Thank forward you, to obviously seeing like your progression as time goes by because I know by the end of this year you'll probably be on like 100,000 subscribers or something like that. That's the goal anyway, I assume. It's, it's scary. But yeah, thanks very much for coming <laughs> for on. Me, um, yeah, and I'll link up all of Johnny's social media down below his YouTube channel, Instagram, so you can check everything out and follow him along on his journey. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>